Mary Todd Lincoln, America's most miserable first lady. A bitter life was estranged from history, from a lady to a madman because of a wrong choice. Mary Todd Lincoln lived a tragic life. She not only soon witnessed the death of her mother, three children, and husband, President Abraham Lincoln, but also was estranged from history. Becoming a noble first lady of the United States is something that not many people are fortunate to have. However, for Mrs. Mary Todd Lincoln, that prestigious position caused a series of tragedies in her life. Then, when history mentioned it, it was just a sigh of a crazy. Mary Todd was born on December 13, 1818, into a prestigious family in Lexington, Kentucky. Her father, Robert Todd, was a successful businessman and politician. From childhood, Lady Mary soon tasted the bitterness of life. Mary lost her mother at the age of six after her mother died in childbirth. Her father became a widow with seven children, of which Mary Todd was the fourth. Just a few months later, Mary's father remarried and went on to have nine other children in his second marriage. Mary Todd spent a lonely childhood, sad because her stepmother did not like her husband's children. However, Mary still received the best education. She attended a local academy and then signed up for academic content. One, the path of multiplying skewed wands, the wrong choice. In 1839, at the age of 21, Mary had the opportunity to leave her unhappy home to live with her sister in Springfield, Illinois. Mary's style and intelligence made her quickly a role model for young women in Springfield, where she met Abraham Lincoln. However, their relationship was not supported by Mary's family. She believes that couples have too many differences in background, education, and personality. Abraham Lincoln was also nine years older than Mary. Overcoming all obstacles, Mary and Abraham Lincoln were still determined to get married in 1842. This is also started for the string by script that all two not ever imagined. Two, the woman is angry. Thanks to Mary Todd, Lincoln from a poor lawyer entered aristocratic life with new relationships. However, obstacles in life also began to appear not long after. Their wedding took place when Lincoln was 33 years old, while Mary was 23 years old. The age difference, the position, especially the love, has created a thing in life. While Mary indulged in the pleasures of youth, Lincoln was quiet, mature with the thoughts of a big man. However, that was not as important as Mary's sudden change of heart. After the honeymoon period, the charming and aristocratic girl gradually showed her true form as an irritable, quarrelsome, and easily angered woman. Mary is often jealous of everyone around her husband, berating him severely. Not only stopping at sarcastic words, she also imitated his gait and complained that he did not try to learn her elegant and elegant gait, but kept dragging her legs like a barbarian. Once, it was Mary Todd who cursed Lincoln in the face that he was a gorilla when she thought that Lincoln's head and hands were too large, while his nose was not straight and his jaw protruded. Even as a politician, President Lincoln still could not escape the shame of his wife's harsh words and behavior in public. When Mr. Lincoln was elected president in 1860, Mary was heavily criticized by the public for being too noisy and unrefined. However, more than anyone else, Mary is the one who always stands by and supports her husband on the political path. Three death of three children. Mary Todd bore Abraham Lincoln four children, all sons, but only the eldest, Robert, survived to adulthood. Second son Edward Baker Lincoln died a month before his fourth birthday of tuberculosis. The boy's death made Mary Todd never stop crying. She stopped eating, lost sleep because of her grief, but that was still not Mary's greatest pain. During a tumultuous week in February 1862, their son Willie fell gravely ill. The boy died at the age of 13 of typhoid. The death of Willie, the child Mary loved most, devastated both her and her husband. Mary was bedridden for nearly a month, refusing to attend the funeral because she could not cope with this great pain. Even the first lady of the United States suffered from severe depression and began to rely on psychics to communicate with Willie. Four, horrible assassination and tragic ending. On April 14, 1865, Mary sat with her husband at the Ford Theater. John Wilkes Booth shot Lincoln from behind with a pistol, killing him the next day. After witnessing the scene of her husband's murder, Mary became paranoid, always living in fear because she thought there was a stalker plotting to assassinate her. After the death of her youngest son in 1871, the woman fell into a deep depression. 
Her only surviving son, Robert, took her to court for insanity in 1875. The man, embarrassed by her behavior, wanted to put his mother in a mental hospital. Robert says his mother's distorted views on finances and fear for her own safety are signs of mental illness. At the trial, her son asserted, I have no doubt that my mother is crazy. She has driven me crazy for a long time. All the jury agreed that Mary Todd Lincoln was insane and she was forced to stay in a mental hospital for three months. After being released, Mary became cold towards her only son because his actions gave her mother a reputation as a psychopath. Mary tries everything to free herself. In the end, with the help of a few friends, she succeeded. In a second trial in 1876, the jury found Mary Todd Lincoln sane. She lived the rest of her years with her sister Elizabeth Edwards and eventually died of a stroke at the age of 63 on July 16, 1882. Historians have long tried to understand Mary Todd Lincoln's complicated behavior, and have questioned whether she was really mentally ill. Today, the answer to that remains unclear. But perhaps one of the most tragic aspects of Mary Todd Lincoln's life is her place in historical memory. For many, the position of First Lady of the United States never belonged to Mary Todd Lincoln. She just simply has her husband's last name. Most scholars who write about Abraham Lincoln tend to portray Mary Todd as an inadequate wife, behaving madly, even a bad influence on the president. They blamed her extreme behavior on hysteria, over hysteria. However, when studying closely about Mary's life, anyone can realize that Mary has experienced many deep emotional traumas, continuously suffered the pain of loss, making her life more deadlocked. Never before has an American first lady lived a life as bumpy and twisted as Mary's. If she hadn't married Abraham Lincoln and chosen another normal man, perhaps her life would not have been so tragic. Thank you for watching the video. Goodbye and see you in the next video.